Welcome back in, JT White back with us in here with Corey from Sleep Monroe. Shooting you another episode of Life in Color. Thank you so much for hanging out and uh, talking with me about stuff. Which one was uh, your first one? Actually, my first one was this one from Shoulder to Shoulder. Nice. So it's half faith in me, I got it. Uh, I think I was 17. Okay. Yeah, I went back to New Hampshire. It wasn't even expected. I just went in and I was like, let's see how much this is going to cost me. <laughs> and he drew it up and I was like, cool, how much? And he was like, 200 bucks. I'm running the back when you are. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little <laughs> so, sketchy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I was not prepared at all. Uh, and it hurt like a bitch, but yeah. it was um, definitely worth it. Okay. Now, is that the uh, the day to remember that faith to me? Or um, I actually, yeah, I mean, I liked that song. But I had this idea well before, I think it was like 12 years old, before I even listened to them. Or oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I just want to drink, so I know it's yeah. kind of a lot of people <laughs> think that. I was like, yeah, I like that song. We'll go there. Yeah. And uh, so where did you go from there? Uh, from my chest, I believe my next one was actually my back. I don't know if anyone can see that one. Okay. But I have my grandparents' names. Oh, nice. The moon okay. and the star. A lot of people, you know, say, oh, I love you to the moon and the stars and so on. That was their thing with me, so. <laughs> it yeah, works, it works. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And then, uh, now, when did you start with your sleeve? The sleeve was actually, this was some of the last work I got. So I got um, Half Faith in Me, I got my grandparents' names, and I got this compass. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was right around there. I started realizing that I had to stop looking for reasons to get one. I just got it because <laughs> I wanted it. Yep. It says choices around it in Greek. Oh, okay. Kind of fit with it, it was cool. Okay. Um, from there, I actually got, I think this bird, nice. flash sale on a Friday, Friday okay. the 14th sale, was okay. 20 bucks at Living Color, so I was like, nice. Nice, oh yeah, there you um, go. Actually, I got the compass and my back piece from Living Color as well, okay. a couple years ago. And then from there, I got birds. I have birds on my chest. I don't know if anyone can see those. Flower right around the same time. Okay. Um, someone passed away. There's a date there for them. It's a, not the date they passed, but it's a happier day. Okay. Um, we got those. Never finished this one, dude. Never never liked cats. I got a, <laughs> like a slice from a cat Yeah. and he didn't want a tattoo over something that was healing because it would have spit out the ink or something. Okay. So oh. never finished it and I still haven't gone back to finish it. Okay. Because I'm a procrastinator, <laughs> and that shit hurts. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm saying, especially around the the nipple area. I'm yeah, that was tender. That, that's De pain. definitely a tender area. Would <laughs> not recommend that spot for a first tattoo. <laughs> Just um, sleeve though, pretty much the whole sleeve has been done by one person for the most part. Um, I got the mandala. And then these two pieces, I got this in Virginia Beach, some glyphs, got them with my family. Oh, okay. God. We have the same one in the middle and then two on the outside. We all picked different ones for the outside ones. This was another flash sale. I don't know what, it's like an Illuminati yeah. diamond thing. <laughs> nice. I don't really know what that is, but I thought it was cool, so I got it and it was 20 bucks. Um, then I started going to Laura. She worked at Sky High Inc. And, and she is an amazing artist, kills everything. I went to where my first one was this owl. I was so like, I didn't, I didn't really, piece. yeah, this is, it was huge. I said, you know, I don't really have much to go for with. I give my artists a general idea and I let them use their creative freedom to kind of bring it to life. I think that's when tattoos come out the best. Yeah, just so let them, let Yeah, because if you go to an artist, you usually go because you like their, their style and you like the way that they, they bring things out. In a tattoo so and I really like the work that she's done on previous people so I was like I want an owl and I want it to be around a galaxy and I want to kind of like stars in its eyes and the rest is up to her this galaxy actually was done at the expo some guy from Ohio did it the did a great tattoo job expo, expo up in uh, Rochester yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, nice, yeah. going to it this year you guys should too yeah I'm hoping um, to go this year I missed she, it last year so yeah I'm me too pissed. I'm like damn it yeah but, um, but he he did the galaxy and she just kind of continued off of it and oh, okay. you can't even tell that it's separate. Dude, it looks, it nice. yeah, it looks amazing. Awesome. She also did this right after the owl. I basically made this appointment with her while she was tattooing the owl and I said I want another one to continue to sleep <laughs> and I just came in and that's what she had drawn and I was like, that's cool, let's, let's do it. it. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. She did that. I did that right before a trip to Virginia Beach as well. So that was really sore. Yeah. But so I had to sit in a car for 14 hours Oof. right after getting it. Like Oof. I left the shop and went on the road. Ooh, damn. So that was rough. Yeah. Sweaty, I'm not religious. comfortable. Yeah. Damn. And then she did this Native American woman shortly after I got back. You busted right out there. Yeah, just, just one right after the other. Be I like, bam, let's go. Keep going. Because <laughs> it's just, um, you know, I have a lot of ideas and I really like tattoos. I express myself through them a lot. Mm. And some of them have a story behind them. Some of them are just, you know, something that I like, like passion, like uh, the owl. There's not really a, a meaning behind it, but I went to Mexico with my family for vacation. And I'm very into uh, astronomy. I like, you know, looking up at the stars. Mm -hmm. A lot of my lyrics are about that. So we went to the Mayan ruins, Chichen Itza, oh, yes. in Mexico, yes. and explored everything. It was amazing. It was hot as hell, though. <laughs> <Tell> <laughs> I was sweaty. It was hot, but it was really interesting to learn about everything they did. And we watched a little projector video, which was kind of weird. But I learned that my, you know, astrology. There's like the Libra, mm -hmm. and yeah, the Gemini, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah, cancer. Mayans yeah. had their own form of it. <clears throat> And my sign in the mind culture was an owl. Okay. Nice. So that kind of, I was like, I'm getting an owl. <laughs> That's awesome. That awesome. That was, I went off of that, you know, yeah. I, I kind of piece things together as it, as I think of it. Hmm. Um, the Native American warrior lady, I'm not really, there's not really a story behind it. I just, you know, you I have like Native it. Americans in my family. And okay. I, I was like, I think that would look pretty badass. Definitely. So I did it. I have a lot of birds. I don't know yeah. if you guys noticed that. I have a ton of birds. A lot of birds, yeah. First, I thought it was a coincidence. But, <laughs> um, I think being able to fly would be amazing. Right. Just seeing everything from that perspective and being able to just soar wherever you want. Yeah. You know, right. I think that's amazing. It's like the ultimate just, level of freedom. It just happens. Yeah. Um, some, some people plan it. I know I have friends that have like their entire body planned out, but they have nothing yet. Yeah. And it's weird. It's like, Usually, you know, I have an idea and then I go with it, and then things completely change after I go with that, or it changes along the way. Um, to each their own. I like spontaneous ones at times, and other times I like to think about it for a little yeah. bit. There, there's the spontaneous one, you're like, oh, that's cool, and there's the spontaneous tattoos where they got like a leprechaun or a four leaf clover yeah, on the butt cheek. Right. Yeah. It's like, so. I'm guessing it was around St. Patrick's Day you got that one. And you might have been a little drunk. <laughs> we won't tell anybody about that. Yeah. Vanguard did this at the expo. You know, didn't have much money, but he said he'd do it for you know whatever I could afford, and I thought that was cool. So I was like, sure, yeah, I'll do that. I had like 120 bucks left at the time. So I come back in, a, you know, two hours ish. I gotta finish this tattoo. I'll dry yours up, and we'll we'll get it rolling. And I said, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> and while I was walking around waiting for him to draw this thing up, I ran across the guy from Ohio to the galaxy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I really want one. <laughs> just, this tattoo, dude, he just, his artwork on the, the, the nebulas and all that, it looked amazing. So I was like, fuck it, I'm doing that too. <laughs> and while I was waiting for him to draw that up, I got this galaxy and dude, that hurt. Like a bitch. Yeah. It was. I wasn't anticipating it because the other ones, you know, they hurt, mm. but I could get through it except for my sternum. Yeah. I, I almost bailed on that. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah. But man, that that killed. And before he even finished this, Ian walked over and he's like, "Damn, dude, you got more in the tank? Are you sure you're good to go?" And I was, I'm pretty sure I had like a tear in my eye. Like, yeah, man. Like, yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> And I did it, and the funny part was, it was towards the end of the, the day, towards the you know, closing time for the expo. Um, a lot of people were just kind of walking around, checking everything out. Um, I was wearing tighter pants, of course, and I couldn't roll my damn pants up. <laughs> so I had to drop trial in front of the entire expo and sit there in like, tight briefs. And I was like, damn, I really hope my ass isn't sweating right now. That would be embarrassing. Right? And then yeah. I shaved my leg, which was even funnier. Yeah. And then the following year, I went back, and sure than shit, he was there. I recognized him. I didn't know if he recognized me, so I didn't say anything. I just kind of walked by, and I made eye contact with him. And he was like, what's up? <laughs> and I was like, damn, I'm getting another tattoo. <laughs> So yep. I started talking, he was like, how'd that thing you love? And I was like, good, man, it looks awesome. And he's like, you're getting another one, right? <laughs> and I was like, sure. Sure. Sounds right, good. Right, yeah. And he was like, do you have an idea? And I was like, nope. Nope. Nothing. nothing. He's like, come back, come back in an hour. I'll have one for you. And I went back and he had this dagger drawn up. So that looks badass. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, 
I thought it was awesome, and I was like, sure, dude, let's do it. Yeah, man. And I was semi-prepared that time. I was wearing sweatpants. Okay. So so I, I, like, yeah. rolled it up pretty far. <laughs> and uh, he actually ended up shaving my entire leg for this one. Because we were originally going to do it down the back of my calf. Okay. But my legs are fucking weird. Okay. And they're curved funny. So <laughs> he said legs. that's, you know, it looks like a circle dagger. So we're going to move it. So circle after he shaved dagger, the entire right? back of my leg... <laughs> <laughs> the entire side of my leg. Um, I would not recommend shaving your legs if they're hairy. Those are itchy. Especially healing a tattoo, man. That was yeah. the hardest thing. Yeah. Not scratching that. I just smack it. Yeah, that's you what look, I was told. You look, you look kind of funny in public if you're wearing, you know, people can't see it. Yeah, you're just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, you just I get mad to myself that. sometimes. Yeah, right. right. Like, oh. <laughs> So, I mean, that's what I had to do, especially for the, the owl. There was a lot of shading. Got really yeah. itchy, so I was smacking yeah. a lot. The amount of money that I've put into these things, I, I take care of them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Big investment. It drives me nuts when you see nice artwork and people just don't take care of it yeah. at all. You know? Exactly, yeah. And I mean, that's you. That's fine. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to judge you. But for me, thousands of dollars on my body, I'm going to... I use so much lotion. Yeah. It's insane. <laughs> I smell like a vino sometimes. I just <laughs> lube it up. What's what got you into tattoos? Was there anything you just enjoyed the artwork? It was just you know, there's any kind. It was there any kind of reasoning to why I got started getting tattoos? Um, I don't really know. When I was younger, no one in my family has them except for my grandfather, who's got my grandma's name in a heart. Cliche. You <laughs> yep. know. Yep. Uh, besides that, no one had tattoos. It was just. Probably something I picked up from my scene phase. Okay. It's like, oh, all the scene kids are getting them. It's, they're cool. Right. And it's something I just stuck with. You know, I, I really liked the stories behind a lot of people's tattoos or, you know, f funny stories or serious stories or you know, no story at all. Yeah. Sometimes it's just nice to look at. It's art. Yeah. Um, I'm big into art, obviously, music. Yeah. It's yeah, a form yeah. of art. Um, but. I just kind of stuck with it when I was younger. I was like, oh, I'm going to get a tattoo. I'm definitely going to get a tattoo. I got one, and I was like, shit, I need a lot more. <laughs> yep. Can't, you know, people say it's addicting, and you're like, oh, yeah, I hear that all the time. But then you get one, and you're like, oh, God. Yeah. I could do this. I could do this. <laughs> that would look exactly, cool. Right? Yep. Yeah, so, yeah. I actually have my entire, uh, Laura said she had my whole left sleeve drawn up. I just, I bought a house and some dogs, so I just haven't been able to actually get time to go down there and get it. All Greek mythology. Nice. I love Greek mythology. Up here didn't really hurt. It was no. more towards like the center that hurt. Mm -hmm. But I had people that have tattoos up here and they're like, dude, the whole thing killed. <laughs> it's different for everybody, yeah, honestly. Definitely. Like I heard the ditch. Oh, no. Yeah, right. I heard the ditch, you know, right right where your elbow mm -hmm. bends, your weenus or not so this is the weenus, whatever. <laughs> I heard this area killed. Yeah. And when the guy did it, he just did everything and just slowly worked up. Okay. And it was, you know, nothing. We were having conversations and I was just kind of hanging out. Didn't hurt, and then he started getting closer, and I was like, "Oh God, this is gonna kill." Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah." People start, you know, <laughs> getting mad at me around that area, and I didn't feel a thing. Okay. It, it hurt. It hurt less than what you know my forearm did. Okay. It was weird. Yeah. But then I had my friend who has half a tattoo because he couldn't finish it because it hurt so bad. So it's really different for yeah, everybody. Probably, I guess. Yeah. After my nose ring, my parents were like, "You look like a douchebag." <laughs> I was like, thanks, Your guys. Hurts actually. Really? Yeah, to my face. Wow. They're pretty honest. Okay. Um, Not they, necessarily a bad thing, but you know. Yeah, they got used to it, though. And I took it out, and they're like, you look weird now. <laughs> I'm right, they get so used to it. Tattoos, I came, I went back home to Boston to my friends when I got this one. Okay. We went up to a parlor in New Hampshire. Um... My, I was not anticipating getting it, like I told you. My mm. family had no idea. So when I went back home after my stay there. They saw they saw it like a couple days after, mm. and they're like, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about I that tattoo." <laughs> hope that's cool. Oh, I'm yeah. not technically 18 yet, but you know. Yeah. And uh, they were kind of on the fence about it, and yeah. now every time I get into one, they're like, "Oh wow, what'd you get this?" Yeah, thing? right. Exactly, yeah. So you mentioned a little bit earlier the uh, Greek mythology that mm -hmm. you had planned out for your arm. Yes. Um, anything else that you had planned out right now, or not really? Um, I have general ideas, okay, but I don't have anything specific planned. So I know I want to finish up my leg. Uh, it's a little 
a lot of space that yeah. I don't like, so I want to fill that in. No idea what. I'm probably just going to let it in. From yeah, right. Be like, hey. That's your leg, man. Hey, I'm just Cheers. Gone. Man. Dang it. Um, and then my left sleeve, I probably, I'm really contemplating going on my hands. I really want to, but there's nothing planned yet. So we'll see where that goes. The other thing, probably on my, right above my knee, I want something. Okay. And that's probably about it, honestly. Um, not much else yet. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Something always comes up and you're like, damn it, one more. <laughs> right. I, I, I think with the generation now, it's not going to be an issue. Yeah, like going really forward, it's going to be a lot more yeah. accepted in the workplace, hopefully. Right. You know? Hopefully, yeah. It seems like it's going that way. I'm, I haven't really met many people without tattoos these yeah, days. Exactly, yeah. Um, but we'll see where, you know, yeah. can't really predict it. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Though. Yeah. I really hope so. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, what kind of advice would you give for people going out, getting started, or, you know? Advice, I mean, when I first started, I always had, you know, I'd be like, oh, that'd be cool, but I have, there's no reason for me to. I like it, but I don't, there's no reason. I want I want a deep-seated meaning behind getting one, which... You know, it's fine, but I started that way and I came to realize, you know what, fuck it. It's my body. <laughs> if I like that, I'm going to get it. I don't want to follow the, the belief that I need a reason to get it. Otherwise, it's pointless, you know? To me, like I said, I don't really have stories behind it, but it's not pointless to me. You know, each one, it... it There's a little I, bit of me. Yeah, it's special to me. Yeah. You know, this one, oh, there's no... I literally don't even know what it is, but it's... It was a spontaneous tattoo that I had, you know, I went on a flash sale and I got one and it was a memory and I like it. It's staying. It's cool. Exactly. Um, second piece of advice, probably don't start around the nipple or certain area. <laughs> yeah. I'm so serious about that. That shit hurts. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. Um, next piece of advice would probably be... Don't start anywhere too crazy. You know, especially if you're younger, um, I know people that their, their first tattoo is on their face or, you know, on their neck. And, you know, they're cool tattoos. I'm like, that's awesome, man. And five, six years later, they're like, shit. You know, <laughs> it's yeah. like they their perspective changes or their opinion changes on specific things. And that can affect someone's opinion of the tattoo that they got. You know what I mean? Sure. Fortunately, I've always been kind of true to what I liked, so I don't regret any of these, yeah. and I don't plan at all on changing any of them or covering them up because I like all of them. But you know, if you're gonna, if you're younger, it's specifically if you're younger, because when you're younger, you yeah. you know, you change more than you're younger. Yeah. Know, man. Yeah. So I would say, you know, if if you got something you like, man, fucking get it. Don't listen, you know, to your parents going, oh. There's no reason for you to get that. Why do you want a dick on your forehead? You know, if you want a fucking dick on your forehead, don't start on your forehead. But if you want a dick tattooed on your arm, go get a fucking dick tattooed on your arm. Do it's it. cool. You know what I mean? Just do what you like, and if it if it's something that you really want, then fucking get it. You know what I mean? Because in 15, 20 years from now, you know, when you're settled down and you're like, damn, man, I shouldn't have got that dick on my forearm. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's but, something you can look back yeah. at and laugh at or, you know, exactly. you can cover it up. People cover things up. That's fine. Um, but I wouldn't start on, like, your face or your neck, you know. M make it make it so you can cover it. Yeah, you know, it's something that is, it doesn't have to be small, but it's something that you can keep to yourself. And then, you know, five, six years, if you're like, man, I really hate this tattoo now at least it's something minor you know if it's on your neck or your face yeah then it's yeah, you're kind of screwed yeah you're done yeah. but uh, that's really it i mean my biggest piece would, would be just don't listen to people telling you not to do something because there's no meaning behind it you know i was kind of in the flux of that and i was like i want it and i think i'm going to get it but there's no meaning to so i tried to like force reasons to get something mm. and it just wasn't working and eventually I just caved into I fucking wanted it, so I got <laughs> right. it, you know? Screw it, yeah. And it's a lot of money, so make sure it's something you actually really like. Definitely, yeah. Don't don't go for the $20, hey, I can do it in my kitchen, tattoos, don't yeah. do that. You know, Cause I have, you're uh, gonna get a $20 yeah, tattoo that yeah. I'm done in the kitchen. <laughs> I have friends that are trying to get into tattooing, and you know, if you want 
if they want to practice on you, that's that's a choice that you got to make. I yeah. probably wouldn't. I'd be like, you know, I support you, but <laughs> uh, but um, but yeah, no. So thank you so much, dude, for sitting down and uh, talking tattoos, man. Absolutely. So yeah, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Sleep on row. Check these guys out. There's Check music. Out the the first EP day. will be coming out. Tides. We'll be hitting the market soon. Check it out. Absolutely.